Hey everyone, this is QA Shahin and today we are going to look at a new video series. In particular, we are going to look at WebDriver.js. For this video, we're going to look at how to set up WebDriver.js and its installation. And we're going to write a very simple and quick test file to get a test running using WebDriver.js. So the agenda of this video is very simple. What is WebDriver.js? We're going to do a little bit of setup and then we're going to follow it with a demo. So what is WebDriver.js? WebDriver.js is a web automation framework. It allows us to fire up a browser through code and then interact with that given browser. When we talk about browsers, we have the option of running a browser in Firefox, Chrome, IE and so on. What WebDriver allows us to do is to code a certain level of interactivity. For example, going to pages, clicking on buttons, filling out forms, submitting data, and so on. WebDriver.js is a very important open source framework that allows anyone to basically write interactions through the medium of code. So, now that we know what WebDriver.js is in a very simple and basic nutshell, what we're going to do is actually go through and set up WebDriver.js. Now to set up WebDriver.js, there's a couple of things we need to do. The first thing we need to do is install Node, and then we're going to install WebDriver.js using Node. We are then going to download a Chrome driver. And then we're going to write a very simple, basic JavaScript, which basically will open up Chrome and it won't do anything special, but it will all be driven using WebDriver.js. So the first thing we want to do is install Node. So to download Node, just go to this link here, node.js. Identify what your installer is. So for me, it's going to be Windows. And just run the installer. So when you see the screen, just hit the next button. This is the terms and agreement. If you have a moment, do read it. Select the installation directory, so for me the default is fine. This all of this stuff is fine, just leave it as it is. And then hit install. And finally hit finish. And that's it, that's Node installed. Now we also need to download Chrome driver. So to do that, let's have a quick search for it. So we will go to this link here, which is where we can find Chrome driver. Uh, we're going to download the latest version. And again, you're going to select the OS system that is compatible with you. So for me, it's going to be a window. And that's it. So when you download it, in my case, it was a zipped file. I'm going to extract it. And I'm going to, at some point, use this. So for the moment, let's just keep it where it is. Great. So now that we've installed Node and downloaded Chrome driver, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a couple of directories and get Node up and running. So the first thing I want to do just to ensure that Node was installed, I'm going to type in Node minus V and that gives me the version of Node. So if you see this, that means you have correctly installed Node. We're going to create a directory and let's call it something simple. So we're going to say WebDriver.js. Okay, and let's go into that. 
and in this directory we are going to create a very simple file so we're going to say something like test.js and let's go ahead and open that file in some sort of text editor Okay, so here is the file opened in test editor. So at the moment, there's nothing in there. Let's come back to this file in a second. What we now need to do is get the instance of Chrome driver that we downloaded and put it in the same directory as webdriver.js. Okay. So, so far we have downloaded Node and we have placed Chrome driver in the same directory as WebDriver.js. We now need to install Selenium WebDriver. So to do this, we're going to go back to the command line. And when we downloaded Node, as part of Node, we also downloaded a package manager called npm. So if you type in npm minus V, that should give you the version of npm that is running. So npm is a node package manager that is downloaded as part of node. We will use npm to download Selenium WebDriver, which is the JavaScript implementation of WebDriver. So to download Selenium WebDriver, all we say is npm install dash dash save dash dash dev space selenium web driver okay so this has downloaded selenium web driver really quickly let's see what's happened so as we've discussed npm is a node packager it allows us to download dependencies via npm now these are a number of commands that we'll go through in a lot more detail perhaps in a future video but really quickly, when we type in install, that allows us to tell npm that we want to install something, in this case, a dependency. This is a command that is used to tell npm that I want to install this dependency in the current directory, in other words, in webdriver.js. And then you provide the name of the dependency, which in this case is Selenium WebDriver. So when it downloads Selenium WebDriver based on all of these commands, it essentially ends up downloading in this folder and this is the version of Selenium WebDriver that it downloaded. So if we now go to our directory, we should now see a new folder called Node Modules in which we will find Selenium WebDriver. So as you can see, this has created a Node Modules folder and if we go into that, then that contains a host of modules which are required to run but it also contains selenium webdriver so let's go back to our webdriver.js directory and now let's start editing the test so to keep this video very short and simple i'm just going to write the test as it is so var webdriver is equal to require selenium web driver for our driver is equal to new web driver dot builder dot with k abilities web driver dot k abilities Chrome dot build and then driver dot get HTTP colon post slash www dot their test room dot com. Okay, and let's just save it. So let's quickly go through what is happening here. Now, we will go through this in a lot more detail in the next video, but really quickly to give you a little bit of context, 
This is importing in the Selenium WebDriver module that we downloaded via NPM, and it is then assigning it to this variable here. We then use the assigned variable to call the builder method, which allows us to ultimately establish the browser which we will run the test. In this case, it is Chrome. Once we establish what browser WebDriver is going to use, we instantiate that as a driver variable. After which point we are able to call all the relevant driver API methods, in this case get, which allows us to navigate to this URL. So let's go back to the command line and try and run this. Hopefully this should be correct. So to run this we're going to use node, so we say node, followed by the name of the file, which in this case was test.js. And there you go, that was it. So what just happened? Well, when we run this command, this started to read the instructions as provided in the test.js file, which included all the instructions that we just went through. Ultimately, it fired up a Chrome browser using the Chrome driver that we downloaded and it navigated to that URL. So what did we go through in this video? Well, in this video, we had a quick introduction to WebDriver.js and how to install it on your machine. As you can see, the installation process is very straightforward. You need Node, you need Chrome Driver, you need to write a very basic script, and that's about it. You don't really need to do anything else other than downloading Selenium WebDriver via NPM. In the next video, we're going to take a much more detailed look at the script we just wrote and try to extend it a little bit more. Thank you a lot for watching. I will see you in the next one.